and this little highlight of the year passed, I want to bring out a couple of my favorite events, one of which was the commissioning of the USS Cooperstown. What a great event we had in the dinner for the crew and for the commissioning day itself. It was really a grand celebration. I think it showcased a lot of what the Navy League does to support the ship, the crew, in action. And if I think about uh, our mission statement, two words jump out at me. That's educate and support. And I think those two words represent the best way that our members can connect and engage. If you think about 2023 and all of our events, our members always had the opportunity to volunteer. So whether that was uh, helping us put together some back-to-school kits for our junior ROTC programs, or whether that was Coast Guard Day in Staten Island. Smaller events where we just ask people to come out and, um, and help us to support the, those that serve in the sea services. Hey, my name is Dennis Durkin, and I've been active in the league for about a year and a half. And while there are a million great things that we all do, today I am at the Pacific Missile Range Facility as a guest of the Honolulu Council. And let me tell you, it is nothing short of cool and amazing and terrific. But great as that is, the greatest pleasure that I've had in the last year and a half is to associate with our junior and our OTC presets. One is greater than the next. They are wonderful tributes to their family, their schools, their community, and to themselves. And to steal a phrase from the State of the Union, Knowing them, our country is safe and will be New York Council of the Navy League, Graphics Campus NJROTC unit sincerely thanks you for your steadfast support. This support enables our unit to pursue enrichment programs for our cadets. These include two Saturday field trips per month to include the tri-state zero competitions, paintball, Army Navy game viewing, bowling, Navy ball, yacht party, tour of the battleship New Jersey, and much more. For education, also we have our national security briefings and our maritime security conference. We're very lucky to have these events. Our members are very lucky to have these events. Uh, it gives them the opportunity to listen to experts and leaders, uh, ask questions, uh, and really get a better grasp of what's going on with our national security. The other piece I'm particularly fond of is the Coke app at the Coast Guard Art Program annual reception for the new collection, which was in this past July. And the Navy League sponsors the reception. It was especially nice year this year because we had Admiral Linda Fagan, Commandant of the U.S. Coast Guard, as our honored guest. So to have a spectacular reception to highlight her visit was very special to me. I really appreciate the Navy League giving out these wonderful opportunities. Whenever we had the opportunity to educate ourselves, the public, uh, and support all of the sea services, um, we're doing our job. Thank you, we are Council of the Navy. Thank you, Navy League. Thank you for all your support. For 121 years, the Council has worked to enhance the Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, and U.S. flag Merchant Marine. Whether it is the commissioning of USS Cooperstown, Fleet Week New York, Hogout Reception, Coast Guard Day, or working with our cadets, Big or small, we are here for the sea services.